What is up guys? Welcome to Rookie. In today's video, we're going to see how much weight I can take off this barbell before it starts catapulting itself into oblivion and kills a whole lot of people. So uh, that could be cool to just experiment and keep on taking weight off of this. But I think we can use some basic formulas to see how much weight I can hang off that side before it starts tipping over. Before you're getting too scared, we're going to keep these calculations as simple as possible and as short as possible so you can get at experimenting. So we're going to make two basic assumptions. The first one is that the barbell has a uniform weight. So this is the barbell. Also the fact that the barbell is suspended by two points here called the J hooks. Now what we want to do is we want to calculate how much weight we can put here, we call it X, before the bar starts tipping over. Because the bar is uniform in weight, we can know that it has a force here, force A, and a force B here, according to its weight. So here we know that this is 15 kilos, and here we know this is five kilos. So now we want to know how much weight for X we can put onto before the bar starts tipping over. And that means that we need to look at this point here and we need to calculate the moment that which this bar comes weightless. So here we can say that the sum of the moment in that direction needs to be zero. So moment is force times distance, but because the bar has an equal weight across the whole length, what we have is a distribution that looks like this for the moment. So the further away from the bar, the more the bar is going to put force in that direction. The same thing goes for B, so that is also going to be a little triangle. So now we want to fill in this formula and sum up all the moments. So first let's go in this direction. So what we have is X. So X and the distance of X to the bar is going to be 15 centimeters. So we're going to do times 0 0.15 meters plus B because B is also putting out some force and because this is a weird shape we can just simplify this by taking this distance and dividing it by 2. So we do um, 0 0.53 divided by 2 times 5 kilos. So we are talking about forces and, I'm, uh, and I am talking about kilos because I just want to simplify this and keep it as clean as possible. Now, we talked about forces going in this direction, but A is going into the opposite direction. So that's why we have to put in a minus before it. 1.67 meters divided by 2 because it's also a triangle and then times 15. Boom. So now we have an equation that's equal to 0 and we have just x to find. Hey, x is here. Jokes aside, let me just solve x and give you the answer. Okay, so according to my calculations, it should be 75 kilos. So that means we can put in 75 kilos on one side before the bar is going to tip over. So uh, I'm curious to see whether or not this is going to work. Let's find out. Let's take these red ones here. This is 25 kilos. kilos seventy five kilos and let's take a look it is almost weightless it takes no effort at all to lift this barbell off by adding 10 kilos we can see what happens with the barbell and you see it lifts off 
we have liftoff. So yeah, that really proves the point that you can use basic calculations to see how much weight you can hang on one side of your barbell and not let everything explode. Obviously the shorter this distance or the smaller your power rack is going to be, the smaller this number is going to be because your moment is going to increase the further this J cup is going to be from the weight which is pretty logical. I have made here a diagram which you can see here on the screen where the shorter this distance is the less weight you can put onto this and uh, you can trust this with a margin of about 5 to 10 kilos. You have to take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> That's a big grain of salt. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that is really how you calculate how much weight you can hang off your bar and that really shows that you have some margin because in order to have this scenario, I have to be squatting 170 kilos or I have to bench 170 kilos. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you want to discuss this formula more in depth, we can do this in the comment section below. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing and I guess I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace.